Dr. Roman here, hematologist, oncologist, and let's talk about liver cysts. Now, I can tell you on day-to-day -day practice, I see patients with these all the time, and I believe that this video will answer most, if not all, questions that you will have. So with that being said, let's get started. And as with all my videos, this is for educational purposes only. I am not providing medical advice. So as liver cysts, I also see kidney cysts all the time. And if you're interested in learning more about kidney cysts, then I urge you to find this video within my channel. So when I see a patient with a liver cyst, the first thing that I want to determine is, are we dealing with a simple cyst or are we dealing with a complex cyst? And the reason for this is that simple cysts overall, besides being much more common, are mostly benign. Usually a simple liver cyst, there's not much to do. Whereas a complex cyst, on top of the fact that they are much less common, they do have the risk of cancer. And for this reason, they may require treatment. All right, so you've been diagnosed with having a liver cyst. So now what? Well, in general, remember, we want to know, are we dealing with a simple cyst or are we dealing with a complex cyst? And also, we want to make sure that you do not have a solid mass because that requires a different type of treatment. So in general, just know that we have a few imaging tests that we can perform, and that is an ultrasound of the liver, a CT scan, or an MRI. Just know an ultrasound is usually the first test we perform because it's easy, it's cheaper to do, it does not expose you to radiation, and believe it or not, it obtains pretty good quality pictures. Another test that we can perform is a CT scan. Now, a CT scan is a very good test, especially if you used intravenous contrast. It obtains excellent pictures of the liver and a liver cyst. Now, unfortunately, a CT scan can give you a little bit of radiation, so something to keep in mind. An MRI, for that matter, also obtains very good pictures of the liver and also your cyst, especially if given with intravenous contrast. Now, the problem with an MRI scan is that it's much more expensive. It's a very slow test to perform. It makes a lot of noise. The MRI machine is very compact. You're sort of in a tube. So those of you who've had an MRI know exactly what I'm talking about. So if you suffer from claustrophobia, it might not be an easy test for you to have done. But in general, an MRI scan also obtains very good pictures of the liver. Now, in general, we usually start with an ultrasound sound as I stated and if there's any doubt then we may move on to one of the other two now if you've had a CT scan or an MRI then maybe we obtain the information that we wanted to know again we want to obtain good pictures and know are we dealing with a simple cyst complex cyst or an actual mass so now let's talk about simple liver cysts just know that these are much more common for the most part they tend to be small although at times they can be very large Okay, they are more common on the right side of the liver because the liver has a right side and a left side, but I've seen them on both sides of the liver. Just know that they can grow with time, although they tend to grow slowly. So just because a liver cyst is growing does not mean it's cancer. So what does a simple liver cyst appear on film or on an imaging test? Well, here's a liver and inside the liver we have a cyst. This is a simple cyst on this illustration. So first of all, notice that simple cysts tend to be well-defined. A lot of times they are round to oval. They tend to have smooth borders, very thin walls, no septations or loculations, meaning inside they're not divided. They don't have pockets. They tend not to have nodules inside. And when you inject contrast, for example, with a CT scan or an MRI scan, this border does not enhance. Okay, so these are all tall tale signs of what a simple cyst looks like. So remember to like, subscribe, and share the video so other patients can also find it. So what about a complex cyst? And just know that these have many possibilities. I just listed some on here. A liver abscess can appear as a complex cyst, necrotic tumor, metastatic cancer, a hydatid cyst, which is due to a tapeworm, uh, cyst adenoma, mucinous cystic neoplasm, traumatic cyst, needless to say, many possible reasons as to why you can have a complex cyst. So what about a complex cyst? Well, when you look at an imaging test of a complex cyst, there are several findings. For example, the wall tends to be thick. If you see here, this is a sample of a complex cyst. Notice the thicker wall there's also septations or loculations you see here that creates pockets within the cyst. 
the borders tend to be irregular. Notice the shape here. It's completely irregular. You also tend to have debris inside of the cyst. You can have calcifications. You can have nodules within the walls of the actual cyst. And also, if you inject contrast in either a CT scan or an MRI scan, the walls of the cyst, or this wall around here, also tends to enhance. In other words, it lights up. And here in this illustration, you see a complex cyst and a simple cyst. So you can see the comparisons. Notice the simple cyst again, very thin wall, regular. They tend to be round or oval shaped. Nothing inside of the cyst. It's just fluid with no loculations, no debris. This is what a typical simple cyst looks like. In contrast to a complex cyst, notice the thick wall of the cyst, irregular borders. You can have nodules, the debris inside of the cyst. Look at the loculations or the septations creating pockets within the, the actual cyst. Again, some cysts may have all these findings. Some cysts may have some of these findings, but this is what you typically see in a complex versus a simple cyst. So what do we do if you've been diagnosed with having a simple liver cyst? Well, we want to know how big is it or what's the size? Because if it's less than four centimeters and it's a true simple cyst, we leave it alone. Now, if it's four centimeters or larger, the next question is, do you have symptoms? Because sometimes these liver cysts may become very large and they may actually cause symptoms. And if that's the case, we want to address this to alleviate your symptoms. But the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that something else is not the cause for your symptoms. And these symptoms may include right upper quadrant pain. So just abdominal tenderness, discomfort, bloating, jaundice, the yellowing of the eyes or the skin, many possible symptoms. But again, we want to know, is it the cyst that's causing your symptoms or could it be something else? For example, could you have gallbladder stones? Could you have heartburn? Maybe you have peptic ulcer disease or gastric ulcers. Again, we try to exclude other reasons for the pain or the discomfort or the tenderness. And if after an extensive workup, it all leads to the actual liver cyst, in other words, the simple cyst is, calling, is causing your symptoms, then you either have surgery, so we remove the cyst, or interventional radiology can actually insert a needle into the cyst, we aspirate the fluid, and then we inject a chemical which will destroy the walls of the cyst to try to prevent this cyst from, re uh, from reforming. And this is called sclerotherapy. Now, what if you've been told you have a complex cyst? What do we do then? Or well, remember, it all depends what's causing your complex cyst. And for this, you need an extensive workup. And usually, the doctor you will follow up with is either a surgeon or more so a hepatologist, which is usually a gastroenterologist, okay? So either between a GI doctor or a surgeon, they'll try to figure out what's causing this. Because remember, once again, there are a lot of possibilities. All right, so a quick recap. Remember, if you have a liver cyst, if you've been told it's a simple cyst, you're good. Just make sure you're not symptomatic. If you are, you may need intervention. And if you've been told you have a complex cyst, that's a little more complicated and you have to go see a specialist, either a gastroenterologist or a surgeon so we can find out what's the reason or the cause of the complex cyst. All the best.